Hello, you guys. For today's assignment, you are going to have a digital artwork that you're going to need to complete. This is the material. There's also then the assignment itself. Right here in the material, it says that you can use my website to go to the art and games and then get to the Tate Kids paint, or it is right down here. Um, you can also play more games when you are done with this assignment, but today we are going to be using Tate Paints. If you see up top, this does say that you can download your artwork. That is optional. I will also have a video showing you how you can upload into Google Drawings. So even though this does say it's an assignment, it's not something that needs to be turned in because we are just practicing with this for right now. So this digital artwork, you're going to click on Tate Paint. I'm just going to show you guys kind of your way around it. So if you kind of already know how to use it, how to play, then you might not need to continue. But here we go. So there's two sections. There's Let's Create and then Inspire Me. Let's Create is in the blue, Inspire Me is in the yellow. What Inspire Me is, is basically just different themes that it'll bring you to that you can pick. Maybe I'll pick this one. And then you get to choose your canvas. So depending on which theme you choose, there's different canvases that go along with it. So if you explore a little bit, you find what maybe you're looking for, what you want, something different. Let's see if it'll load. Come in. Oh, so I didn't mean to do that. So we're just going to get in right away with the delete button. This trash can in pink, I can click on that. I can click the green check mark and I can delete it. The pencil and the paintbrush that you see at the bottom, if you click that, it gives you a few different materials to use. Say I wanna use this glue. I could put the glue down and then there's glitter. I could throw some glitter on there. I could check out the balloons that pop. There's colored pencils, there's paint brushes, there's um, little palette things, markers, spray paint, erasers, all sorts of things. So there's just a little bit. If I don't want this artwork, like I said, I can delete it, I can be done. Maybe I want a whole new canvas. I can go back, I can choose a new canvas. Maybe I want a whole new theme. I can choose a new theme. Maybe I just want to create all on my own. So I'm going to show you what some of those tools look like. And then the next video will show you um, how you can download. So right here, the colored pencil just looks more straight. I can use the paintbrush. There's another paintbrush. So they all are different. They create different kind of textures, different patterns. And what I like if you go over your color with them, sometimes they'll change a little bit. marker and then if I wanted to erase there's a few different options for how much I want to erase all right so right here other options for you this one just brings your screen smaller so as you saw 
there is a light bulb that's in an inspiration light bulb. So if you don't know what to draw, sometimes they have different pictures you can check out. This green arrow is going to be for when you want to save. If I click on that, it asks me if I have finished. I will say yes. It is going to download. Now there's three different options. The orange button says try this. This is something that you can do at home if you would like. It's an activity for home. This blue button in the middle, you will have to get your parents permission in order to send it into Take Kids Gallery, but it is an option if you would like to. And then download. And I'm going to show you what downloading an artwork looks like and uploading it onto Google Classroom in my next video. Thanks.